the typical timeline of undergoing a buttock augmentation involves first coming in for a consultation. Some patients require a second consult just to make sure all their answer, their questions were answered adequately. Then if time allows on the surgery schedule, you could maybe get in as soon as one or two weeks thereafter. Typically my wait time is closer to two or three months. The surgery itself takes about an hour and a half. And then recovery is the difficult period, especially the first two weeks. You have about two weeks of being homebound in significant pain. I would say that most patients feel buttock implants are more painful than breast implants. They are definitely more debilitating because we put this implant in your buttock muscle that you use for so many things. You use to climb stairs, you use to sit on most of the day, you use, you use to lay on. So all those things are very difficult for the first two to three weeks. After you get past that initial two weeks, life starts to get a lot better. You can start sitting down. Week by week, you're sitting more and more. I allow patients at four weeks to go to the gym and start doing upper body exercises. And at six weeks, they can actually do lower body exercises again. With the caveat of everything's still going to be weak and tight, give yourself some time to stretch those tissues out and get the strength back, which will make take another six weeks. So one of the beautiful things about buttock implants compared to breast implants is these implants are made of silicone, but solid all the way through. It's silicone rubber, not silicone gel. You see breast implants, the skin can tear or rupture and then the inner gel leak into the tissues causing various problems, including a lot of inflammation and scar tissue formation. With buttock implants, this there is no shell. It's the same from surface to surface. These implants can't rupture or leak the inner fluid or material. Therefore, they're considered permanent. Saves you an operation in 10 years to replace them, like is normally recommended to replace breast implants after 10 years. I would say on the pain scale, zero to 10, buttock implants usually comes in at about an eight and a half to a nine for most patients. Sometimes I'm amazed and patients come back and say it's a level two or three. And of course, because pain is so subjective, occasionally we get a patient that the pain level is 12. Nonetheless, everybody gets a full gamut of three different types of pain medications. Uh, icing is also very effective. Most surgeries, icing is recommended for the first 48 hours to help with swelling. But with this surgery, you could ice for the first seven days to help with pain management as well. Luckily, uh, with, with buttock implants, conveniently we have the butt cleavage, otherwise known as the butt crack. So on most patients, we can conceal the scar deep within the butt crack. Some patients that have either a shorter butt crack or a very shallow one, the very top of the scar may be visible even in the standing position, but that's the, by far the minority. The cost of buttock implants varies. Again, depends on the region, depends on the experience of the surgeon, and it can depend on what type of implant they're using. Most implants are the same, whether it's stent anatomic oval or round, but occasionally a patient requires a custom size implant, either because they're very, very petite or they're large um, boned, or patients that have had the largest stock size and come back for a larger implant, we have to custom make yet a larger size. There really is no limit on how large of an implant we can make, but at some point, bigger isn't always better. Because buttock implants for augmentation or enhancement of the buttock is considered purely cosmetic, no insurance company will reimburse the surgeon or the patient. However, financing is available. There are various plans out there. The most common one is a company by the name of Care Credit. I recommend that patients look into that only if they have a good credit rating. If not, you won't get a good um, interest rate and you're better off just saving up your money little by little and then having a procedure once you've been able to accumulate that savings to pay for the entire cost.